Can you talk a little bit about the role of corporate culture in driving results? And who's really responsible for establishing corporate culture? Corporate culture is one of the central responsibilities of leadership. It's to build an environment uh, where authentic communication can actually take place, where it's valued and where it can take place. So to me, it's central, absolutely central to people being engaged. And by engaged, we always talk about discretionary effort. That's really what we're after here. How, how, how do we build an environment where discretionary effort is the rule rather than the exception? That environment is what we call a corporate culture. There, there are lots of definitions of it, cheap definitions of it. If you talk to an anthropologist, they would, they would call it a, a purpose, uh, uh, the values that are expressed, uh, the language that is used, and the actions that are taking place, those four elements, the values, the purpose, the language, and the actions. And it's up to a leader to create an atmosphere within those four variables where people actually want to contribute. So it's everything. Um, there's been some marvelous research going on about the now, about the impact of good corporate culture on performance, and it's staggering. Uh, firms that have great cultures where people find meaning, uh, where they find engagement with what they do, they find a love of what they're about, they work well with other people, they're accomplishing something that is greater than themselves. These are all the hallmarks of great cultures and they outperform other companies by a large degree.